What's up guys, Tayo here and as you know by now, ITEL has come up with another laptop named the ITEL Spirit 1 laptop and in this video I'm telling you all what you need to know about that device. So sit back and relax while you click on that like button and that subscribe button to join the family. And with that being said, okay guys, let's get started. First things first, who the hell named this laptop? I mean, come on, there are other names you could use for this laptop. Why did the name Spirit 1 come up? It's just a The ITEL Spirit 1 laptop rocks 3 USB ports, 1 HDMI port, a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack, and an Ethernet port. We get a 15.6 inch Full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels and an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Now this display is a 1080p display but I would wish it was like a 1440p display. I think that should be the gold standard of 2021 to 2022 devices but anyways the 1080p display will be very much good anyways. That said, this device is said to come with Windows 11 and if you don't know, Windows 11 is basically Microsoft's newest operating system and I made a video covering the topic on Windows 11 which I will link in the iCard above. The ITEL Spirit 1 laptop is powered by a 10th gen Intel Core i3 processor with up to 8GB of RAM and 1TB of storage. Take note that the 1TB of storage is a hard disk drive so you won't be getting the fastest read-write speeds. The ITEL Spirit 1 laptop rocks a 51 watt battery and if you don't do anything more than word processing, web browsing and watching of movies, you should be able to use it up to that 8 hours that was stated by ITEL. And when the device dies, you can charge it up back to 100% using the 65 watts charger included in the box. Finally, the price. This device is said to be around the $600 to $700 range, which is quite okay for an entry level laptop like this that is targeted as students and um, non professionals, to, to, be, uh, to be more exact. This device is targeted as non professionals. If you are a pro, you know what you want, and this device certainly doesn't meet your requirements. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this device in the comment section right below that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video. Peace.